addition up to 10, adding across and down. Lesson 1.8. We can draw a picture to show a problem. We can write the add-ins and the sum. There are four children in line to have water. Then two more children get in the line. How many children are in the line for water? We look at the important words. Four children are in the line. Then two more children get in the line. Here's the four children. We can draw four people. We can draw two more people. Four plus two is one, two, three, four, five, six. Add-ins don't have to be side by side. We can add across. Four blue dots and two red dots makes one, two, three, four, five, six. And we can add down. Four blue dots and two red dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four plus two is six. Our equation can go across like a sentence or it could go down. It'll still equal the same thing. See? We can write an addition problem from a picture. Here we have pink flowers and purple flowers. How many flowers are here? One, two, three, four. So we can write a four in this box. And how many flowers are here? One, two, three. We can count them and add them all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four plus three is equal to seven. Here we have three dogs. One, two, three. We can put our three in this box. There's two more dogs. One, two. 3 plus 2 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 dogs. Now here we have a lot of addition problems. We have 1 plus 3. Do you know what 1 more than 3 is? It would be four. Three, four. Do you know six plus two? If it's hard, we can make dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. And two more dots would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six plus two is eight. How about zero plus three? Do you remember that any number with zero added to it, the number stays the same? So this would just be three, wouldn't it? How about four plus one? We have four and one more. And that would be five. How about two plus seven? If that's hard to do, we can make dots. One, two, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can count the dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two plus seven is equal to nine. How about this one? Three plus six. If that's hard to do, we can use dots. One, two, three, and one, two, three, four, five, six. We can add them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three plus six is equal to nine. How about four plus zero? Remember, any number that has zero added to it stays the same, so this is just going to be a four, isn't it? Four plus zero is equal to four. What about five plus two? We can make dots. One, two, three, four, five, and two more is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What about three plus seven? We can make dots to help us again. One, two, three, and 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three plus seven is equal to ten. What about one plus five? That's the same thing as five plus one, isn't it? Because we can add in any order. Five and one more would be six. What about nine plus zero? Any number that has zero added to it stays the same, so that would just be a nine, wouldn't it? Some numbers are easy to add together. It's easy to add zero or one to a number. When we did the equations that added zero or one, it was easy because the number stayed the same or we just went to the next biggest number when we add one. When we added the other numbers, we could use help like counting counters or dots. Whenever we add zero or one, it's easy. Emma put five cookies in a box. Dave put three cookies in the box. How many cookies are in the box? Let's see if we can fill this so that it matches the word problem. Emma put five cookies in a box. So five is important. We're going to put that here. Dave put three cookies in the box. We're going to put a three here. How many cookies are in the box? Five plus three more. One, two, three, four, five, and three more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five plus three is equal to eight. Eight cookies. That's how many cookies are in the box. If we know six plus one is equal to seven, then it will help us to find the sum for one plus six because we can add numbers in any order. If six plus one is equal to seven, then one plus six is equal to seven. We can add numbers in any order. Our next lesson is use pictures to show taking from. We're going to start working with subtraction, and that's lesson 2.1. We're going to start chapter 2. I hope this video was helpful. And you now know how to add going down. We don't just have to add going across like a sentence. We can add going down and write our equations that way. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.